Now after the confit is cooked for uh, uh, about four hours in the fat, we removed it, dried it completely. This one's actually been set in the fridge, so we were able to go back and just clean it. Remove any of the pockets of fat, we frenched up the bone a little bit, just make it look a little bit prettier uh, so that you're only serving the best bits. We're then going to crisp that in a pan, uh, ideally a black pan, a cast iron or something that's non-stick just so you get that skin to be nice and crisp. We'll go skin side down. So we have the oven set about 350. We're just going to set it in the oven again with the skin down. Uh, 8 to 12 minutes is probably going to be enough time in that oven, but basically you're going to get it crisp and hot all the way through. So the breast we've cured, I've just basically, we haven't washed this one off. We've just set it on the towel. It'll just kind of uh, purge a little bit of moisture. We're just gonna dry that off both sides. But again, that cure of salt, sugar, star anise is on there. So we don't even need to season this breast now. We have what we want. I'm gonna start to pan a tiny bit of oil. It means very, very little just because the fat is gonna come off the duck. We're gonna sit this right in the pan. Get a nice sear, but we're not getting a crazy billow of smoke. Um, we're going to leave it alone. Once it's touched down, that's it. No moving. So again, with the bones, we basically uh, took all those duck bones, roasted them down, roasted them to a nice medium brown color, submerged them in cold water. Uh, a little bit of mirepoix went in there and we basically rendered a stock, strained it off after about eight hours and brought that stock down to a nice uh, kind of duck glass. Got a little bit of red wine in there. We have a tiny bit of honey in there. Um, just all simple things. We want the duck to taste like duck. Yeah, just put a bit of that duck fat back over top. Again, we can do this in the oven. Such a small little duck breast. We're going to want to keep an eye. Just keep an eye on its color. Because we have a cure on it, make sure we're not burning the sugar. So we want a little color, but you just got to keep track a little bit so that we're rendering the fat out, but we're not going over the top. So now that we have nice color on the skin, we're basically just going to set that duck over. And just a nice medium-low heat. Bring the heat all the way through the duck. One of the key things to do is actually seal the meat, which means basically almost, if you think about it like cauterizing, any area of the protein that you haven't actually completely sealed up, that's an area when it's rested that it's gonna purge, the juices are gonna escape. In here, we shouldn't see any blood, we shouldn't see anything coming off of it. That's a little bit in part two from our cure. Our cure has actually tightened up that meat, which has done, done a bit of the work for us. So this was kind of rolling around in the pan for a good six to eight minutes. And feel tender, you know, we're gonna let it rest for a good six, eight minutes and do a ratio as well. So it's probably about a half a degree less than I want it cooked. Ideally, we're gonna serve it a solid medium to medium rare. No bubble gum, no real raw medium rare, a rested true medium rare. So that pan will save for the rewarm. Check on our confit here. So we're just pressing it, all the areas that need to be, you know, haven't had skin contact with the pan. We just have some nice, beautiful, fresh corn. We've added a little shallot butter. We basically, in advance, sweat down shallots um, in butter, uh, chill them down, and then fold in whole butter. So we have a seasoned compound butter that we can cook a lot of our vegetables in. Corn doesn't require any liquid. If you pay attention to it, just a little bit of butter in there, and just gonna slowly render it down. It'll sweat out its own liquid, as long as you don't have it on too high, and you can basically cook the corn just like that. Baby white carrots, so we'll warm those up. Again, all we've got in there is just a little bit of our shallot butter. Just warming them up. Just gonna warm up our squash puree. It's very simple. Tiny bit of honey, butternut squash. It's kind of a standard at the pear tree. Here, just a little more vegetable as well. So, uh, I come from La Bella Bears. I have to make sure I got lots of vegetables on the plate. Again, some baby beets, uh, radishes, celery ac, all pre-braised. All fairly earthy vegetables, a little bit of sweetness, like things like the beets and carrots and corn have a natural sweetness, which is very nice with the duck. Um, but they're also quite hearty and earthy, keeping with that duck flavor. So we just have our reduction here. We're just gonna add a little bit of butter just to soften it up a bit. Again, a very natural jus. Nothing really overly fancy. We should be nice and crisp now. Just turn it over, get that heat to transfer all the way through. Beautiful. So to rewarm our breast, this has now been out, rested very well. We're just gonna use a tiny bit of clarified butter just to mix in with, with our, uh, the duck fat that's already in the pan. It's a fair bit of fat, but we're basically just gonna ratio and warm up that meat. We will go back down on the skin side. You see we've lost a little in our purge. This is important, we don't do that when we slice. So now we just remove our duck again. Again, we just recrisp it a bit and warmed it up after it's rested. So a little uh, puff tart that we've pre-made. I'm just gonna put our corn in there. Set that on there. Little beets again from my garden. I can't grow enough to give everybody, so we buy as much local produce as we can, but it certainly has a lot more 
pride and feeling when it comes from our own dirt. I'm just going to kind of burn the edges a little bit here so we get it to stand up straight. And basically, we're going to just going to cut dead center. Such a small, tender duck. You don't necessarily have to slice it in the traditional way. Just set our little duck on there. A little shrivel, of course. Got to have green. So just had a few white currants just went into our duck jus. Just going to trickle a little bit on there. Not too much. We got a little puree, a little moisture on the plate, so we're just really going to do a little drizzle. One more little just drip of nice olive oil to go on top. We're just going to serve our confit on the side. It's a bit of a battle, a challenge, the bone in and all that, so on the side might be a little more elegant. So now we have the Tyson Farm duck, roasted breast, confit leg. My name is Scott Yeager. I'm from the Pear Tree Restaurant. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you.